and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup, especially indie makeup and sparkly makeup. And today I'm going to show you guys what I will be bringing for my Easter vacation, which will be for about one week. So I will just show you how I'm choosing out single shadows because these shadows in here have been in my rotation for a couple of weeks now, so I will replace some of them. Um, but I will leave a couple of them that I have not used yet uh, in my rotation because that's kind of what I'm um, aiming for to use some of the shadows that are either new or that I haven't used in quite a while so I will just remove a few of them and show you the process of doing that and of course I did decide to bring two palettes so I decided to bring this one which is the All Done Up palette by Blend Bunny cosmetics and I just feel like this one has a lot of the more kind of neutral shades and also I do really like the shimmer shadows in this palette which I don't necessarily like the shimmer shadows from the other Blend Bunny cosmetics uh, palette so that's why I chose this one it's also a little bit smaller and yeah a little bit more neutral and the other palette I'm bringing is of course my own collab palette the serpent palette and this one has a lot of the shadows that I usually reach for, especially like the more mustard one, the cocky one, and we have this deeper gorgeous green. You can just check out my video uh, where I reveal the palette for swatches and all of that, but I will be bringing this one. So now I'm just going to figure out which ones I will not be keeping in this palette, which is, by the way, from Oasis Makeup. And it's really nice and sturdy, which is why I feel comfortable traveling with it. It even has like this closure right here, um, if you're able to see that. So I feel very safe traveling with my shadows in this one. Okay, so now I have to think about the shadows that I have used, um, which is this one. It's from Touch of Glam Beauty. Uh, it says it's called Booya, but I'm pretty sure this is actually as if. Um, I think it was mislabeled or something. I only have two shadows from them, which cost me like almost 40 bucks. Um, but I'm taking that one out because I have used it and I'm feeling satisfied with it for now. Uh, the other shadows that I don't think I will use a lot are the flaky shadows here from Cine Reviews. Um, so she has just started creating her own shadows. She's basically an Instagram creator, which is where I got to know her. And she's like super, super nice. And she's just started creating amazing shadows. So I'm definitely keeping this one, which is Lion Eyes and it's just the most incredible shadow. I'm gonna zoom you in so you can see. So I'm not sure how much you can see of that orange shift, but this shadow, it's literally so amazing. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger so maybe you can see a little bit of it. If we can focus, oh, there. You can see just how shiny and warm it is. It is just so pretty. It's literally just my favorite iridescent shadow. So this one is coming with me, but I'm going to remove uh, all of the other shadows from her, I think, apart from this one. Um, this one is called Rouge. Oh, and I apparently touched into Bolide. Oh, I'm contemplating on keeping this one too. It's like super beautiful, super flaky multi-chrome. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm keeping this one. Although I have used it, it's called Rouge and it's just so beautiful. I think it looks very much like the new Terra Moons shadow called, I think it's Aries or something. But this one is just such a warm, warm shade with a kind of green shift, but it's also a sort of grayish base to it. I'm gonna try to see if I can show you. <laughs> I'm kind of at an awkward angle right now, so it's hard for me to set like to tell what you will be able to see but either way this one is just stunning it's a very kind of like orange pink green flaky shadow so yeah I'm, I'm maybe going to use this one so I'll keep that but I will be taking out ring of fire which is 
gorgeous by the way but I've already used it and it's beautiful but I just don't think I will use it in my vacation now so I'll just take it out. So this one it's called Helios also from Senior Reviews. It's like a pink to green. I'm taking it out because I've already used it and I don't think I will be using it for Easter even though it's a pretty good Easter shade though because it has a very yellow base. But I'm taking it out and I think I'm taking out Crocodile, also Senior Reviews. Such a beautiful shadow. I feel like this is a multi-chrome, although I think she said it's more of a dual chrome, but <laughs> it's so pretty. It's just a little bit dark and I don't think I'll reach for very dark shadows, which I think that's why I also will be taking out Bolide. I haven't used it yet, but put it back in here <laughs> after I come back from my vacation I think because it's a really beautiful shadow okay so now it's going to be a little bit harder I'm just zooming it out hope it's not too noisy but so you can see the rest of the shadows here um because I love Dragonfly and Dreamscape from Pastel Roses and I think I'm just gonna keep them here although those have been <laughs> used a little bit not in this rotation but like I've kept these in the palette for so long but I'm just gonna keep them there because they're literally some of my favorite shadows and they're so beautiful um shadows I think I will remove I haven't used this one it's one of the uh what were they called again uh, pastel multichromes lemongrass from glam shop I don't think I'll use this but it's a pretty shadow, so I'm just I'm just gonna take it out for now. And then these six are actually from Shine by SD Cosmetics. I did an order way when they had free shipping, and I'm so happy with my order. I feel like I, I mean, if I had seen this, it's beautiful, but it's like it's not really my kind of shade. So I'll take this out. It's called Summer Rush. Uh, for now, I will take it out, but I do want to use it because I haven't tr tried it yet. Um, but the other ones, I think I've used almost all of these, but they're so beautiful, so I want to still keep them. This red one is called Hidden No Flamethrower from the Hidden Gem Collection. This one, okay, I'm gonna see you in again. <laughs> this shadow is... If we can focus, this shadow is Harvest from Shine by SD and it's marketed as a duochrome shadow. But to me, this is definitely like a multi-chrome. Just look at that shift right there. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I think I'm actually keeping this, although it's a bit dark and I'm not sure if I'll actually use it. But it's just such a stunning kind of rose gold, bronzy gold, green shadow and I'm just so in love with it. <laughs> and this one is just eight bucks and I think it's Canadian as well so it's like super cheap. Um, and it's basically the same shift as Celeste, also by Shine by SD Cosmetics, uh, just that this one is a little bit lighter. So that's just a little tip for you guys. I will be doing a video on these as well. Uh, so this one is Celeste and you can't even see the shift as good because this one is not as dark as the other one but swatched out these are basically the same just this one is a lot lighter but yeah um, either way I'm keeping all of this this one is Break of Dawn um, and this one is Coinage yeah so I'm just gonna keep all of them because I think they're just gorgeous now for the mattes, um, I have to think about what I have in the other palettes and I did just take a look at it earlier and I think I will be removing this one which is Wheatness from Luxy. I love this one but the one in Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette is very similar. I can just show you. <laughs> so you can see that these ones will be quite similar. So this one is going out. Mm, I think I'll actually keep this one. It's just a little bit grungier than those in this shadow. Uh, no, in this palette, I mean. <laughs> uh, so I will be keeping that one. Uh, this one is from Cleona. It's called Leatherbound. It's quite similar. It's a little bit grungier, but it's basically gonna be the same. So I'll just remove that as well. And also this one, which is from glam shop and it's something with coffee it's in polish palona kava uh, so this one is just a really deep kind of neutral brown which i'll remove 
and I'll also remove this one which is a very neutral to cool toned matte also glam shop it's called latte um, and now I have to think a little bit about uh, these shadows um, I definitely have this one in the blend bunny cosmetics palette and I don't need this one either Honestly, I don't think I need any of these greens because I have my cocky green matte in my Serpent palette and here I have the other kinds of greens that I think I will be using. So even though these are a little bit different in color, I'm just going to take them out of my rotation. They've been here for like a long time either way, so um, I'll keep the purple though. I think I'll keep the purple. But these are going out. Mm. This one looks very similar to this one, although this one is a little bit more purple toned, I guess. But taking it out, <laughs> uh, I do think I will keep these ones because they're a little bit more on the blue side, whereas all of the others, other ones that I have in my palette and in the Blend Bunny palette, they are not blue at all. And I know I don't necessarily need this red because I do have a really really deep one right here. I also have mine which is a little bit more on the pink uh, side or cooler tone side right here, but I think I will actually just keep it. This one is a little bit too similar to what I have in my palette, so I will take this one out. This is also from Mexmo Cosmetics, like the red one. This is called Wine. And I feel like I still want to keep the rest of the shadows in here. Uh, these are the new ones from Terra Moons Cosmetics that I ordered. Those are like duochromes, but they're so pretty. And I have only used these ones and this one, but I want to use them more. So I'm just going to keep them here. And they're also really beautiful Easter shadows if you just look at them together they're like light almost pastel shadows so now i have removed all of the shadows that i want to remove so now i have to find some shadows to replace all of those with mostly i'm going to focus on shimmer shadows because i feel like i have a lot of matte shades in this one and of course in my serpent palette so i'm just gonna maybe speed through a little bit and then just explain afterwards um so before i do any kind of sorting uh, or like organization of them. I think I will just move them all together so that it will be easy for you to see which ones I add afterwards and I can also keep that, like keep a track on that. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys like what I chose this far. Basically, this is all of my pastel roses order that I just made. I don't know how long it was, but it's my newest shadows from them. And they sent me a few extras and I'm so happy about it because they're so gorgeous. So this one is over the rainbow, I think, or is it? Yeah, it's over the rainbow. Uh, that one they sent me and I totally forgot to order it, so I'm so happy they did. Okay, so I just had to take a break because my neighbors were walking right above my room, so it was making a lot of noise. Um, but then we have this one. It's literally like one of my new favorite shadows. It's Antique by the Pastel Roses. Just look at how beautiful that is. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And then also this one, it's called Autumn Rush. And it's also one of those green to pink shadows. Like from my angle right now, it's looking orange. So <laughs> it's such a beautiful multi-chrome. And uh, these ones uh, on the side, which you can't even see right now, these are on standby. These ones they sent me and it's called Jade and Glamour. No, Glamour I ordered. <laughs> but they sent me jade and those are the same kind of sparkly super fine formula which is so pretty so they're not like super special in terms of shifts or anything but they're so beautiful especially for like glamorous looks or something classical but 
I'm not sure if I will use them now, but if I have space in the palette, I will just put them here. So those are like on standby here on the side. Um, and then I have these two purples, also from Pastel Roses, which they sent me for free in my order. This is Purple Magic. I don't know, it's just a cooler toned base with a more warm toned purple shift and... I will totally do a video on these, as I said already in my previous Pastel Roses uh, video. And this one, oh, it's so pretty. Lavender dust from my angle, it's like blue to green, <laughs> but you can't really see that, but it's a beautiful shadow. Oh, I just wish my camera would be better at focusing. Okay, I hope the noise is gone now because I had to take a break again. <laughs> but yeah, here you can see it a little bit better. You don't really see the shifts from this angle, but trust me, I will show you that in my Pastel Roses video. Um, so I'm just gonna put that down again. And then I also have from Pastel Roses, I basically put all my Pastel Roses here. Uh, this one is called Summer Dusk. It's just such a gorgeous warm toned shadow. It's a little bit like the Senior Reviews ring of fire just this one is a little bit more finer particles in it and i think it's a little bit lighter so i think that's perfect for easter then we have this one which is a fairy floss it's a pink but i'm pretty sure it has shifts from at least did i say just pink it's yellow but it shifts from pink to green and the last one from pastel roses is lucky charm and this one I think it's more of a green to blue. Um, I haven't swatched this yet, so I don't really know myself, but it's so pretty and perfect for Easter, so I'm bringing it. And then I have three other shadows, and um, those are from, two of them are from Pretties For Your Face. This one is a kind of black shimmer, and it's called Outer Space. I'm just like, if I want to do a smoky look, <laughs> like super, super smoky black look, then I have that one available. And the other one is Nightshade here. I think this is uh, a shadow that was made in collab with, I'm not sure who it was. Was it Amber's makeup? I don't remember exactly her handle, but I think... I think it was her. I will just leave it on the screen. It's just a super gorgeous shiny sparkly purple and it's quite textured so I really like that and I figured I would just bring it in case I want to do something purple. Now <laughs> at least I have like four different options. Um, and the last one here is a more neutral one. It's from Oasis Makeup and I actually don't remember what this one was called um, but I'm pretty sure this is the one I, oops, I'm pretty sure this one is the one that I used in my video where I was showing you guys a look with the Oasis makeup shadows and it's so pretty and wet looking. So I just figured I would put this in here in case I want to do something a little bit more natural but still shiny and sparkly. So I still have room for more shadows. And I'm thinking maybe I should add some more mattes because now I have so many shimmers in here and I don't have like the whole rainbow in mattes. So I'm just gonna uh, look around and see what I find. Okay, so I already had this palette here and I was like almost reaching for my Terra Moon shadows but then I remembered that underneath here I have all my Dandelions cosmetics shadows which I haven't used a lot of them yet so... I might just pick some of these up and as you can see this is like the shadow keeper from Oasis makeup that they so kindly gifted me and it's so freaking smart because you have this tray and I even have a lid for it so I can just store this separately if I want to it's not as secure but uh, I can just put a mirror in here if I wanted to just add single shadows and travel with I would just use this one Either I would put a mirror in here or I would just add a lot of single shadows and travel with it like this. Um, but yeah, I, I do have all, basically all of my favorite Glam Shop shadows right here in this tray. And then I have all my Dandelions Cosmetics mattes and my Pastel Roses. Um, yeah, these are not necessarily my favorite Pastel Roses, but it's from like my video on Pastel Roses where I had to store them like this. But a lot of these are so beautiful and I love my Pastel Roses shadows, so 
um, yeah, that's just like that. <laughs> I'm just uh, gonna start rambling, but uh, I need to look at my palette and see like, what kind of matte shadows am I missing here. So, um, I should have had the other palettes open, but I mean, I know what I have in my own palette and the Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette is also quite like easy to remember. I feel like I have mostly what I need. Um, I could have added some more purples, which I do have a lot of those from Dandelions Cosmetics here. And they're really pretty. You know what? I think I'm gonna add this one, which is more of a warmer toned, uh, vibrant, but really deep green. It is called Whispers from Dandelions, of course. Uh, so it's warmer toned than the one I have in the Serpent palette. I just know <laughs> without comparing them. And I also want this one, which is a little bit more of a minty toned transition shade. Because I do have a few greens and more slightly blues here, which I think would go really nicely with that. Like, for example, Jade or uh, this one from Terra Moons, which is Moon Mist. And I might not have too many blues in this palette, but I also don't necessarily want that many blues. What I do think I want is this one, which is, isn't it called? Yeah, it's called Winkle from Dandelions. Oh, it's such a beautiful kind of, it's just a periwinkle matte shade. So I really want that. And something more purple. I suppose I could use this one to both blend with this, but also whatever is in the Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette. Now I just have one more shade to add, and it's so, so, so hard to decide for anything. I mean, I also have this gorgeous tray of my Glam Shop favorite shadows, so I could have added one of the multichromes or like the crystal shadows or hollow shadows i mean what would you choose like in this one but we'll just try to show you like what do i have now i have this palette it's a little bit hard because you're looking from an angle and i have my own palette and then i have my blend bunny cosmetics palette right here so i feel like i have like a bunch of neutrals and then I have my Blend Bunny Cosmetics palette right here. So I have like a bunch of neutral shadows. Here it's a big mix of everything. And then it's of course my palette, which is a little bit of a mix of neutrals and colorful shadows. What am I missing? <laughs> it's not like I'm going to use anything bright pink. I already have my oranges. I have my greens. I feel like I could have added something more green, but... I feel like this is enough for now. Maybe I'll add like a grungy green because they do have some really nice ones here, but I'll have to make sure that it doesn't look like the ones that I already have. I feel like these ones are a little bit more cooler toned, almost like muted minty shades, whereas this is just a muted cocky shadow. But what if I just add like this one, which is more of a brighter line, but still not as yellow as forewarning. These are more than different enough for me, and it will also go so great with, if I can get it down, <laughs> it will also go really great with Wispus right here, so... Yeah, I think I'm happy with this actually, so I'm not going to overthink it because if I'm going to add all my favorites, I will have to bring basically all my collection. <laughs> uh, so I will just show you guys all of the shadows that I've chosen together with the palette, or the palettes, because I do have it too. Okay, so I think this is it. This is a lot of shadows to bring. I mean, I could have probably just brought the two palettes here or just this one, but... I like my options, okay? <laughs> and of course I do want to bring this one because my family and friends, they have ordered this, a lot of them, but of course it's gonna take some time before they get it, so I just figured I would bring it to show them in person uh, because I'm really proud of it and I'm so excited and I'm so happy that they also liked it and wanted to purchase it. <laughs> so I'm bringing this one either way. 
Um, and this one is just like such a gorgeous like um, all over palette that I could use every day and find something beautiful. Um, and here we have so many beautiful shadows right now. So basically we have Senior Reviews shadows right here. We have a few Shine by SD shadows. I guess I didn't mention like this one which is from Terra Moons. It is called Amber Dusk. It's like a beautiful muted peach but it's slightly more orange. And then we have this one. I never checked what this one is called. It is from Exmo Cosmetics and it's called Segla. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means, but it's a super, super stunning burgundy shadow. And this one, it's a kind of teal shadow. Oh, it's actually from Tammy Tanuka and it's just the number 100 shadow. Tammy Tanuka has amazing shadows. And this light blue is from Sydney Grace. It's called Perfect Storm. The light purple here is Eris from Colourpop. The square one is obviously from Makeup Geek. And those aren't even sold anymore, so I'm not even going to check the name. I already mentioned the Terra Moons shimmers, but I don't think I mentioned the name of this one. It's Socialite from Luxy Beauty. It's just such a grungy, grungy shadow. Um, yeah, Terra Moons, Terra Moons, Special Roses. These are the ones from Dandelions Cosmetics that I just added. And this one was Whispers. This one is Winter Green. This green grungy one is called Dirty Martini. The more purple toned one is called Spirit. Then it is Winkle. And then we have a bunch of Pastel Roses shadows with a little bit of pretties for her face and Oasis makeup. And I'm just gonna show you guys uh, this one close up. And I'm not going to make any kind of labels or anything, but just comment down below if you are wondering what any of the names of these shadows are. I just love doing these kind of like, I don't know, it's not like I have a special time, like it's not the monthly thing, it's not a weekly thing, but I just really love doing this because whenever I start feeling like I've used most of the shadows in this palette, I just change them up and it's so much fun to just look through my collection, what do I need to use more, what have I not tried in a long time, or just add my new shadows and they're so much more available to me than when they are in the huge palettes that I have them stored in regularly. So. I just think this is such a fun way to get more use of my single shadows without having to make special and small color stories. This is just like putting together a bunch of shadows that I love. <laughs> so yeah, this is basically the single shadows that I'm bringing with me on my Easter vacation. They're so pretty. And then I of course have these two. <laughs> eyeshadow palettes to complement the shadows and just yeah I don't know just be there to make it a little bit easier to create wholesome looks so yeah that is the shadows what kind of shadows are you gravitating more towards right now because I feel like for me it shifts a lot but lately I've been very much in a more muted colorful mood and this this just makes me so happy to look at <laughs> So yeah, please please uh, answer down below what kind of shadows are you gravitating towards more lately? And we can just have a small conversation down below in the comment section about that. But I think this was a very long video, so if you reached the end, then thank you so much for watching all the way until now. And I hope that it was either relaxing or entertaining or helpful or whatever, and of course just Leave any questions of the shadows below. Thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!